Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Video two for my little road trip down to Winchester. And I've stopped in Upper Farringdon, just off the A31. Uh, and Upper Farringdon, so a couple of little, uh, little nuggets of interest. The church, the 12th century church, has two ancient yews. This one right here, the Farringdon yew tree classified as an ancient exceptional at over 3,000 years old. It is regarded as one of the 10 oldest trees in the United Kingdom. This predates Christianity and the Roman invasion of Britain by several hundred years. Its place in the history of this country cannot be un underestimated. So that's amazing. There's lots of support poles as you can see holding up the um, ancient branches. They advise you and ask you not to climb in and go inside the hollowed out area, which I would normally do, but I'm not going in this case because it's uh, preserved. And quite right too, quite right too. I've seen quite a few uh, ancient yews in the last uh, year or so. So you get confused. The, the sign over there said 3,000 years old. Here it says 2,000 years old. Make up your minds. But yeah, our ancient Jews of national special interest and is the top 20, in the top 20 of UK's oldest use. Please do not say, please do not climb on the branches or go in the hollowed out area. The other U is just by the porch, the 1643 porch. There's no hollowed out area. Just in. Oh, there is, sorry. You can get in there if you want to. of Thomas Massey and his wife. More on him in a minute. Coming into the 1643 porch and how old is this door? How old is that door? Seen better days, that's got to be, I don't know, late medieval? Gilbert White was the curator here for 25 years. So I'll link his video below. Of course, we're in Jane Austen country. Those who like Jane Austen, never read any of her work, but um, she came here as well. We'll go and find the place where she passed actually in Winchester um, in the next video. Again, Mark, start bringing out some cash so you can get these little pamphlets. This happens a lot in these ancient churches. You have a listing of all the old rectors who served here. Peter D. Insula, 1285, 1289. 1289. It goes right up to 2005. Toby Pierce. So he must be the same rector here for all those years. Thomas Massey, the grave I showed you just a minute ago. He was a rather an eccentric character. And he was rector here for 62 years. So Gilbert White was 25, but he was rector here for 62 years. And of course, had that folly built just across the road. Mace's Folly. The folly was built over 30 years by just, I think about three men. And it was supervised by Massey himself. Unfortunately, it wasn't completed by the time he died in 1919. Um, it's been various things over the years. I think a village hall, a school. Now it just lays abandoned um, with security all around it, security alarms and what have you. It's a real oddity in the middle of this quaint little Hampshire village. 
And to this day, no one knows why he built it. He never said, he doesn't know why it was built. He just did it. I'm saying there is graves. That's his one, Thomas's, and his wife, Helen Catherine Massey. She died in 1910, I say, he died in 1919. We do like good English eccentrics, don't we? Yeah. Locked up door or something. Very small door though, and I go on about small doors, but that is very small. It's very windy in Hampshire today, it's very hot, but it's, it's windy. The church tower is one metre thick. This church tower, one metre thick. So if you enjoyed this little video around Upper Farringdon in Hampshire, just off the A31. Masses, Flor Masses Folly right there. And the beautiful church. Really beautiful day today, really is. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff. And where will the videos take us next on this little road trip? We shall see.